So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Spencer Turnbull. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. One ball, two strikes. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. And another ball. One down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now a chance for Brian De La Cruz. Ball, one and another ball. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Ball. Straighten him up a little bit. Two strikes. Here comes a pinch. I can't lose, ball. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. He was all over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Runner at first with two away. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Ball. And there's a ball. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Next offering in there for a strike. It's two and two. Two outs. He goes down looking. Marlins lead one. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Philadelphia and on the hill, Trevor Rogers. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Ball three. That's a little bit low. Three balls, one strike. That one finds the corner, and it's a full count. Line 
drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Trey Turner now. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when. But two strikes, you just struggle Four to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now, here is Harper. And here it comes. Bounce to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Third baseman. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So one out with two aboard. Alec Bohm will hit next. A little bit high. And the count is three and one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. pitch and strike two one out runners at first and second foul ball and it remains a full cow two on one out in the air right field Dive in, and it gets down. Put the extra bases. Around third. Run scores easily. And the Phillies strike first. It's 1-0. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Two on, one out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The pitch. And a foul ball. Got him. Now two out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. This is Bryson Stock on the ground, right side. Lopez throws the first in time, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Phillies with the run scoring double. It's now 1 0. Back after this on the show. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. Jake Berger. And the right hater deals. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball two. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and go. That's one way to quiet the crowd. His seventh home run of the season. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and, and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. 
That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Otto Lopez digs in now. Ball, and ball. another ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here at the top of the second. Line drive, pulls it in, and there's one away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. One down, base is empty. That clips the corner. Ground ball to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's the second out. The shortstop, Vidal Brujan. And now it's Vidal Brujan. Tied up here in the early going. That one fouled off. And a one two. And they'll do it again. The one two. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Swings and misses, and that'll do it. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. All even at one apiece. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon March. The line to kick the pitch. Up and in. Now two balls and a strike. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the lineup as well. Now we're back up the middle, and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now the left fielder, David Dahl. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Recovers in time to get the force. So they get the first out of the inning. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job is to move the runner off and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happens. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Man at second. And there's a foul ball. Here's a one two in the air on the infield as this one sized up hauls it in for the out. Now batting the designated hitter Kyle Schwarber. So the Philly batting order turns over and now the DH Kyle Schwarber two outs and one in scoring position. And another ball. Pretty easy 
easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next offering misses. And the count is three and one. Trey Turner to bat next. That one ripped right center field. And in one hops the wall. The run comes in from second. It's 2-1. And that's a double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. So two down. Here's Turner now. Two outs. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Up the middle. Nice grab. On the run. Throw to first. On the money. Nice play. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. 1-1 now. That one missing inside. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. Back to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now that Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Jazz missed some time last season thanks to injuries, Boo. An oblique strain cost him a few weeks, and the battle with turf toe sidelined him for more than a month. What stinks is nobody wants to be on the field more than this guy. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The Phils up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one misses. And now it's three and two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Runner on the go. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base, not even close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal at second base. That one not close. And the count is even two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Good. 
And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. The 1 1. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Man on second, two down. Got him! Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And we're back. Bryce Harper to the plate. The first baseman, Bryce Harper. The pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Up next to Philadelphia. The third baseman. Alec. And now it's Alec Bohm. Oh. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. That one the other way. Fair ball. Around first, heading for two. The throw in. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Ball to strike. Pulls that one foul. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Fires over to first. And Castellanos is out. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. The batter, number five. Second Bryson second. Stock, the next to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count, one and two. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes up. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Philly strand one. They lead it 2-1. here in Philadelphia all set for the start of the inning here's the cleanup hitter for Miami Jesus Sanchez and the pitch swing and a miss as he was out front moving in the bullpen Sir Anthony Dominguez up and throwing And a one-two. And that one upstairs. The two-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. That was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly made with the swing after seeing the off-speed stop on the pitch before. Jake Berger now at the plate. Next Ball. pitch is downstairs.
There's a swing and a miss. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Right into the play. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away, and that one locked him up. Otto Lopez getting ready to hit. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Slider misses outside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Marlin set down in order. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. at Citizens Bank Park. Bottom of the fourth, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. David Dahl will hit next. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Out there to center. Chisholm moving under it. Two away down. Now batting, catcher. Garrett. Two outs, base is empty. Stubbs. Here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Two down, nobody on. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Chisholm makes the catch, inning over. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Sir Anthony Dominguez. He pitched yesterday, now, and we'll see him once again. Number 58, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Back here in Be Philadelphia, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Nick Gordon. Gordon. And a pitch. And that one hit to first. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now, Vidal Brujan. And a 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. There's a strike, 95 of that one. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. In the air, left side. 
makes the grab. And now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Righty delivers. Late with the swing there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Here's the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. A little out front there as he swings through it. pitch popped up to the left into foul ground he can't squeeze it and it drops in foul and he deals pitch nope. misses ball. two balls two strikes it's a good take and swings through that and it's a strikeout and that is that so one hit is all they get. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Marlins one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. and misses it's a strikeout well he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before felt like he should have had him looking I think but you know that's good composure Shortstop. right there he found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss Trey Turner at the plate and now the lefty a Aye. swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone Next offering way off the plate. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Number 71 preparing to come on if needed. Cronin getting loose as well. Headed down the line. Sanchez on the run. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. Swing and a miss and he got him. And two away now. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure three. he'd love to strike out the side wow. here. Make a little statement, but Far you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Two, one. Wouldn't chase that time. In the air right field Sanchez gets under it and puts the squeeze on that one and that is that back here Citizens Bank Park now it's the DH Brian De La Cruz. Love coming to Citizens Bank Park. Best ice cream in all of the league at the press level. It's only been around since 2004, but plenty of awesome history here already. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And caught on the warning track. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Here's Josh Bell.
What a stop from his backside, and they get oh. the out. The right wing of the crowd, Jesus Sanchez. And up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Two outs. And another ball. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Jeff Hoffman getting ready to go. Strom getting cranked up as well. At the belt and fires. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Man at second here with two away. Jake Berger, the next to hit. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. Way high there. And the count's even at two. Wouldn't chase that time. Otto Lopez getting on deck circle. Right hander kicks deals. Fly ball down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're at the top half of the sixth. On the ground to third. Boom. Throws out to first, and that is the inning. So no runs here in a base hit, no errors, and one left. To the bottom of the sixth we go, 4-5-6 coming up. It's the Phillies two, and the Marlins one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 71. Pretty Miami. tight game, so they're looking Number for quality 71. pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Kicks and deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Action in the pen down there. JT Shagwa appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Right-handed reliever. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Well, he just couldn't get out of the way of that one. And that's not an easy thing to do when you've got a fastball coming in high. Nick Castellanos now at the plate. Boom. The board here at first with nobody out. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next pitch is outside. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. Next offering upstairs. One run game, one out, one on. Hard hit, left field, base hit. 
Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. All over that one right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. One down. And now the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. Two on, one out. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Left hand batter waits. Long drive, that's a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. A couple of singles back to back. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. So digging in, David Dahl. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now here is Garrett Stubbs. The 1-1. One, one. Now this is in the air down the line. Gordon on the move. He's got it and that'll end the inning. Phillies leave them loaded, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jeff Hoffman. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Now it's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. The second baseman, Otto Lopez. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one missed. And a swing and a miss. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. And another ball. Nick Gordon waits on deck for Miami. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Right down the chute, one and two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. One down, base is empty. So he fair at 98 miles an hour. And now for the Marlins, Vidal Brujan. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. That one finds the zone, and it's one and two. Two out spaces empty. And the 
right-hander deals. Just a weak fly ball this time. Stop. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And the Marlins down quietly. And they trail it here, 2-1. to one. And welcome back to the ballpark at the play. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. The 1-1. One, one. Wouldn't chase that time. There's a strike. sent a jolt of electricity into this stadium with that swing. They thought he could blow a high fastball by it, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Here's Trey Turner. To third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Just a good job putting the ball in play and then busting down the first baseline, beat the throw pretty easily. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And at first, here's Harper now. Kicks and fires. Late on that fastball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Boils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. Pickoff move to first, and Turner's back in. Turner over at first with one away. Swings and misses. Two and two. Slice to right. Sanchez makes the play. The right view, number eight. Nick And the batter now, Nick Castellanos. Run. Two outs. Turner runs. Gets under and pops it up. Bell settles under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. <laughs> but the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jose Ruiz. Well, the best relievers now, love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight 66. lead late in the ball game. Jose. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. The catcher, number four, Nick Fortes. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. And another ball. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Alvarado, the left handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Soto, the power lefty, up as well. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Three and two now. And here it comes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive righty delivers out to center one away now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter Jazz Chisholm Jr. And now it's one and two. Next one offering two. misses down and away. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Bases empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Got him swinging. Now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. Two down, nobody on. And that one clips the corner. Looking very subtle on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two outs. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And he deals. Okay. Josh Bell waits on deck. We'll see another payoff pitch. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. On its way to the corner, Castellanos moves on it. He makes the grab, and that'll do it.
Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Declan Cronin hasn't pitched in the last three days. Bryson Stock digs in now. For the Phillies, the second baseman, Bryson Stock. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. And foul ball. The one two. And a good Whoa, eye there. Down. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Riding to the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. At the belt and fires. Lined, and that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. That's back to back singles for him. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. So, man aboard. Here's the center fielder, Brandon March. Kicks and deals. Hey. Runner at first with no outs here. Liner snagged at first. Takes it to the bag himself, but he's back in time. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Man at first, here's the left fielder, David Dahl. Right-hander kicks, deals. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly, so first and second, now one out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now it's going to be Garrett Stubbs. And that one lifted in the air center field. And there are two down. Now that. The designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. <laughs> Three, two now. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Trey Turner on deck for the Phils. Right-handed reliever. Stays alive. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. They struck him out looking. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Through eight full, it's the Phillies three and the Marlins one.